should split up to look for Dio. If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. There's something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. You might call it a legend or a warning. Uh -huh. You see, no one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. You said it yourself. It's just a legend. I did, I. but... Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. Stayed as welcome at Midgar and decided to set up shop in the saucer. Great timing, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. Greetings, Mr. Director! Hmm. He doesn't look quite right. Mm -hmm. Well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery that the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order, my ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> but still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. You must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family. Should my team fall to those rogues, the gold saucer will become Corneo land. Let's sit out. Training hard and getting those days. What's up, party people? What's up? Hey. It's a challenge from the dark. Look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was, lamenting my lot in life, when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed, you have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great. I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then.
screams of pain. I hear you'll be taking part in the main event at the Coliseum tomorrow. You'd better rest up before your big day. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. Knock him dead. <laughs> And going. Not so good. I had no idea you read a song right in. <coughs> oh, I'm not. But I wanted to give it a shot. I see. Well, good for you. Never know till you try. Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because she'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Huh? Promise not to tell? <sighs> when she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But... she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's alright. 
Can you tell me what this scary man looks like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. Zack, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <laughs> Maybe. Can always hope. Hey, Elmira, I've got to go away for a bit. I need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on them while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. No promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> Don't let her. Please. I won't. I thought about what you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's up to each, each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because in Avalanche, I think I found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's got to be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. <laughs> Take care. Thanks. No, I didn't. That's not what I meant. <clears throat> Gotta find Elmira. Those are some hill marks. You must have been out like a light. You know, there's a showing of Loveless about to start. 
And I've got two tickets to it. We should go. Plus, you and I have unfinished business. Wait, what? The Skywheel, silly. Remember, we didn't get to ride it before. What about the others? Forget about them. For now, anyway. Oh. Come on. will begin shortly. All we ticket holders will please Please make your way to the theater. Are you here to see Lovelet? Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me?
there's a star. A mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Guardia. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Alfui was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. I must away. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Alfred! Are you unharmed? Rosa! How did you find me? Your woeful cries could not fail to reach mine ears. By the grace of the goddess, as she has set me free, even now, so too shall she guide my place. <laughs> you know not. Pride goeth before the fall, and I, God. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh! Our brave champion. That was a most accomplished performance. Devotion to his comrades doubtless spurred him onward. Alas, for all his commitment, he is yet to prove himself a hero. Now then, ha, hail and well met, noble Alfred. 
So I am but a humble fool. Some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. The Dragon King fears that which he lacks, none other than truest love, the strength of hearts conjoined. <coughs> that singular weapon is mightier than the darkest magics or deadliest blows, and it alone can overthrow the king. Be still, my aching heart. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon's roar! We held our breath as Alfred fought, his fate ever in the balance, till at last he proved his worth. Was it the memories of those he'd left behind, perhaps, that granted him the strength of will to persevere? Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is, indeed, such sweet sorrow. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. Love is not but an illusion. Fiend! How dare you toy with my emotions! Goddess of love, let my blade strike true!
bereft of wings and broken. I consign you to the abyss. <sighs> My heart still pounds. I am grateful to have fought at your side. Thank you, my hero. <laughs> what awaits you at Journey's End, I wonder? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break, and you can dance no more. Alfred, look. Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait. For I know that I will find you here.
Go on. an experience could even call it life-changing guess so maybe you ought to go pro you know i just might attention the sky wheel will be closing soon please line up and have your ticket ready uh oh we gotta hurry last call folks thank you for joining us for tonight